Good evening and welcome to a very warm Enderdale Stadium. It is Costa del Clickmanninshire here in Aloha as they take on Ross County in the Premier Sports Cup Group C. But let's look at Aloha. We were up at Bucky Thistle on Saturday afternoon. We got a convincing 4-1 victory. How did you how did you assess that game? Certainly made it through we are convincing scoreline. Connor Salmon turning into a striker. <laughs> He's uh, just two goals off his goal tally for last season, so what a man. He starts again this evening as Aloha led out once more by Andy Graham. The interesting change for Aloha would be Paul McLaren coming in for his first senior start. Out goes Cami O'Donnell. So it'll be interesting to see how the youngster gets on against Premiership opposition. This team is glittered with quality our visitors today but the man in up top Jordan White has been a thorn in many Aloha sides in the past and no doubt he'll be a handful again tonight Josh Sims oh it's an awkward one for Hogarth to deal with it's clipped off the bar after a wee fingertip from the keeper and this is um, I'm going like Olaf and Jana or something like that it's Ola Igbe that's what I'm going with Igbe. that rolls off the tongue yeah nice. that, that's, that works as well <laughs> on loan from Southampton. <laughs> Kazim is, you know, quite a good, a good name to go for as well. Ah, but exactly. Well, there you go. You can, you can go. Oh, oh it's, it's an oh. awkward one, and offside. it's so nearly Dominic Samuel to getting his second goal this season, but he is flagged offside. It's very tight. It's still all to play for, for sure. And it'll be interesting to see how Dunfermline are shaping up as well when we go to East End Park on Saturday. That's good play from Ollie Igbe. Tossing and turning, dips it into the box. Oh, Josh yeah. Sims, he's been involved all throughout the first half. And he's rose the highest, knocked it past Jay Hogarth and goals. And Ross County have an early lead. The ex Southampton man with the goal. It was a tricky play from Ollie Igbe. And Sims needed no invitation to head that home. I will win it back and look at the space now for McKeever. I might fancy the effort. Sees Eastwood off his line but can't get it down in time. Decent looking ball. White wins it well. Still pouncing about. Nobody can get a touch on it. It's fallen in favour for White and what a save from Hogarth. It was pinballing in the box. Jordan White in the half turn with a snapshot and Jay Hogarth comes up big. Great. Corner taken short once more. Josh Sims to the back post. It's awkward for Salmon to deal with, but it's only as far as Tilson who goes for the spectacular. Much to the frustration of his manager. Okay. It's kept from it from the physio who's yeah. keeping him safe. Obviously a big player for us in the campaign to come. Decent ball oh. in, Eastwood spills it, he gets the benefit of the doubt from the goalkeeper. Can he touch keeper these days, eh? Yeah. No, yeah, the keeper's, anything, the keeper's lunge jumped into him. I think he's very lucky. Yeah. Aloha just can't get the break of the ball. Taggart goes again, it's a, another inviting ball forward. And I think that we header Sorry. took everyone by surprise from oh. Salmon, but it's oh. nipped in from McKeever, Penalty. and the referee points to the spot. Ross McKeever, tenacious play, gets in front of Baldwin. And you've got to say, well done, Ross McKeever, reading that well off it. I thought Connor Salmon's challenge would have been a, mm. a free kick. Here we go, the anticipation's building. It's Salmon against Eastwood. Connor Salmon, oh, it's a poor. poor penalty. It's easy for the goalkeeper. He smothers it. It's tame, it's a perfect height. No, I think it's just. King is just really high on the left, and McLaren's sitting deep. I think it's just the momentum shift. Yeah. All the Aloha players seem to be really pushing forward. And it is King out to Tags. He's getting ample space to drive nice. forward. Gets on his right foot. Might fancy the effort. Taggart! Oh. Not too far away. Onto the roof of the net. Strong play. Here he is. Andy Graham just Probably. steps in Probably. front. Dispossesses Hawula. And now clips it forward, looking for McKeever. Look at that, Brilliant. Ball. McKeever across to Bradley Rodden. Oh. It's just a little bit too. If it had far. the weight of Andy Graham's pass. Oh. Rodden's pass is a poor one, it's but broke. 
Church gets oh. the break of the ball and he, he again also forgets to make any connection to the ball. I will play it short. 20 or so minutes left of this game. McKeever's forward wins the header well and now Rodden gets the second ball. Rodden in the box, he's got options in there, he goes for goal. Potentially a little bit selfish, there was players waiting in the box for him. That's what I felt, wrong decision. Graham forward looking to find Rodden in behind. He's got the pace Ooh. and it looked like Baldwin led with his arm there. Pressure coming from the black and gold. As Taggart delivers, it's a decent looking Ooh. ball and it's clipped yeah. off the post. I'm not sure if McKeever's got a touch oh. on it. But it's so close to that equaliser. All comes from... And the church gets done there on the right-hand side and so does Skugel, that's Beautiful excellent dribble. play there. He's still going. Gets it out to Danda. Danda gets on his right-hand side, blocked out. That was some run there from Edwards Aurora. Can Church and nip in there, he can do it. Gets it back to Skugel. Here is Skugel. Looks to dink it over the goalkeeper. I think he was caught in between a cross and a shot. Maybe not in his mind, but definitely in the execution. And there's the roll up. Looks at the big switch. Good there from Edwards Awora. He's got the pace on Taggart. Gets the ball across goal. Looking for Halula. He's met it well, but it's safe and comfortable save for Hogarth in the end and he gets the ball rolling quickly there again great great tackling from Adam King fighting and digging and maybe not a part of his game that we associate so much with him it's good, goal, it's good from Skugel he delays the pass to Church waits until he's got a bit more space Ooh. it's an awkward one it's McKeever touch. lays it up to Skugel deflected oh. oh you don't know where it's going it's going out for a corner that's what it's How going did that get deflected <laughs> that direction I was sure it was going to go the other way and go into the back of the net Here is Samuel, wins the flick on pretty well, but no takers further up for him. Good head on. He wins the flick on as well, and here's Kayam. He's just not got the muscle to deal with uh, the Ross County defender, and I think he's being a bit optimistic there, asking for a penalty, but... Just need that break of the ball. I don't know if it's going to come, though. Kami looking to get in there and get a foot on it. Not quite. Skugel though, making a nuisance of himself, and here is Stefan Skugel, he's got Kayam there, he's gone the wrong way. The option was on the left or on his own, but he's opted to go into the right where the bodies are. He's caught everybody off guard, but it's not come off. Spent at this point. And County are coming forward now. It's Cancelo. Oh, and he's slipped ball. through to Hawula, and he's dragged it wide. And for a counter perspective, it probably sums up their evening. It looks like they are going to get away from the under drill with three points, but it's been far from convincing from the Premiership side for something. <laughs> a throw with the same amount of power as that. Ball comes in, bobbling oh. about the six yard box. One more opportunity for Everyone Taggart. Come on, come on. Taggart delivers. It's in there, it's oh. cleared well. It's had that decent area. Skugel fancies it, brings it down well. Skugel, oh. shot's blocked. And I think that might be it for the evening. Maybe Ross County will just finish off. No, they're, they're slowing the game down, just managing. <laughs> what a brilliant, brilliant bit of skill. He's been a handful since coming on, and he's done extremely well. Gained some yards. Oh, it's a great pass. ball in behind for Hawula. Can he finish? Yeah, Ross County hit Aloha on the sucker punch. It's a cruel end to the game for the Wasps. Maybe not quite what they deserved for their second half exploits. It will be the Premiership side that come away with the three points here at the Underdrill. They'll place themselves in a strong position in Group C.